Greetings, and welcome to another video from oduclass.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at a manufacturing operation in which we need to have routing to different work centers based on product variants. Now, this is a uh, subscriber requested video, and so um, I want to ask, you know, and reach out to subscribers and say, if you have any topics you want us to cover, please please let us know. So this is an example of that. So we're going to begin by uh, installing manufacturing here. And so basically what the problem set here is, is you have a, a product and you have different variants of it. Um, in our example, I'm going to use an example of, of a boat manufacturer that has, you know, the standard boat build but then depending upon the stereo package that needs to be installed, maybe you have to install a deluxe stereo package or a premium stereo package or the standard stereo package, depending upon those different packages, the boat's going to have to go through a different routing and choose a different uh, route based on that, on that variant. So we're going to see how to do that now. And uh, so we just installed manufacturing. That's all we have to do uh, to see how this example works. And We'll start by going to the manufacturing application, coming down here to the settings. And the first thing we're going to need to do, obviously, is turn on the product variants so that we can have several attributes in the defining variants for our product. And then the second thing we're going to uh, need to do is uh, we're going to have to set up manage production by work orders so that we can have the routing. So it doesn't mention routing in here, but you'll notice we don't have any routing in here by default. When we do manage production by work orders, we're going to get access to the routing features of Odoo's manufacturing application. So I click apply. And if we come back to manufacturing, you'll see that we've got more menu items here. And specifically what we're going to be looking at is the routings here and how that's going to tie in with our different work centers and creating a, a manufacturing order system that can vary the routing based on product variants. So let's begin by setting up our product. We'll just start at a real high level and we're going to create our 25 foot bow rider. So this is our whole boat right here. And um, we want to make sure this has stockable product. Um, it's a good idea to come down here and say that we're going to be manufacturing it just so we have our routes here for manufacturing and then um, we can come here under variants and go ahead and set up our variants of the different uh, options that are going to be available so we're going to have stereo here and under stereo we're going to have a standard we're going to have a deluxe and then we're going to have a premium. And actually, let's just do standard and deluxe. We don't need to complicate it. We're just going to have, if this, if it's routing from one attribute, it's going to go to one work center. If it's going to, in one routing, uh, if it's deluxe, it'll go to the other. And obviously, then you can understand from there, you will just use that same process for every attribute and variant. Now, it might be that some variants don't even need to have a special routing. You'll see. Um, that that you can you'll just you'll still need to set these variants up. However, once you start assigning variants, then obviously your bill of materials needs to represent that. So let's go ahead and save. And so this is our top level product. This is the final build of the thing we're going to build. Now, if you haven't seen our previous manufacturing videos, um, some of this is going to be new. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to follow, but um, if, if it is too confusing, then you might want to go back and look at some of our uh, many other basic manufacturing videos and multiple manufacturing videos we got on uh, Odoo, here on Odoo Class. So now that we've set up our top-level product and our variants, the, the very next thing we need to do in a manufacturing operation is to tell what the bill of materials that are going to be going into this bow rider. So let's go ahead and click on the bill of materials and click Create. And now you'll notice here that we got the product variant that it's, that it's specifying here. So what we're going to do for just this moment is we're going to leave this blank. So you can see that what we want to do is set up a, a, a bill of material. Well, 
like for the standard. We'll go ahead and pick the standard. So we'll pick the standard variant here. And then now we need to pick what routing we want. Now, each variant is going to have its own routing because that's the whole purpose of this is to route to different variants. So for this routing, we're going to say that this is going to be the standard routing. And so this is our standard routing. And this is probably a bad name. We'd say we'd probably want to still have the bow rider on here. We'll say bow rider standard. Routing's a little redundant. So that's just a little bit better way to create the name, probably. And let's go ahead and create an edit. So we're going to go ahead and set up the routing. Now here's where we can decide for our routing operations what the standard's going to get. So we could have for the standard, standard boat build. And this is going to be in assembly work area. We could say standard assembly like that. Mm -hmm. Save and close. And we can leave this here. This is the standard assembly, standard boat build, standard assembly. Let's go ahead and put a, a duration on it. So I'll say this is going to take uh, an hour and 20 minutes. That's, we'll just give it two hours for that. So, and this will be what happens like the average in, in real time when, uh, when you're doing these. So now I hit save and you'll see that we have a routing that's, that's corresponding to this variant and then we just come down here and we have to decide what goes into our bow rider. So we're going to say it needs a hull, it needs an engine, and it needs the standard stereo package. Okay. So these are the three parts we're saying we need. We're going to hit save. And this completes the, the, the top level bill, you know, for our standard routing for our standard package. Now what we want to do is create for our deluxe. Now I could do it from scratch, but an easier way would be to come up here to action and hit duplicate. So I come up here to action and hit duplicate. And now here I can come down here to deluxe and change the variant here. Come to this and change this to say deluxe. And now let's come in here and create and edit this. And so now let's see how we we could just create a deluxe operation and but I'm going to show you how you could kind of get a little more uh, modular with it. So we can still say that we have a standard assembly and it's going to use that standard assembly work center and save and close and still give it its hour and 20 minutes like that. So we're still, the deluxe routing still going to create a work order and do the standard assembly. But because this is the deluxe, we're going to say deluxe stereo and we could pick the same work center, or we could say uh, stereo work center. And, and this might be a perfect example where maybe they're built in the same place. You'd still use the same work center. But um, as in our example, we're going to show you can use a, both a different operation and a different work center. And that would probably be the biggest reason to divide it up. In other words, if you're using the same work center and, uh, you know, may, well, to be honest with you, it, it, some of it might just be for documentation purposes so that you create a work order that's special for that part of the assembly as, as you build out. So it's all how you want to do it. I'm just showing you one example, but you could route this to any work center. Uh, you know, it could be the same work center. You're just tracking the, the separate operation that needs to be performed at that work center. So I'm going to save and close it and save that. And you'll notice that now I don't have to change these, but this one, we don't want to put the standard stereo in this bill. We're going to put a deluxe stereo in this bill. So you're seeing a little bit uh, a, a couple of kind of neat things you can do here. Oops, it somehow lost that. Deluxe stereo. 
I lost my deluxe stereo. Create the deluxe stereo. And save. Okay, so we have two bill of materials, one for the standard and one for the deluxe. We can see that each variant is going to have its own routing. And if we come down here under the deluxe, that we have a deluxe stereo component. If we look at the standard, we have a standard stereo component. So we're swapping out a different component. Then in our routings, the standard routing is going to go and perform a work center operation called the standard boat build. Obviously very simplified of what you would want in a real manufacturing operation, but this is your standard boat build. And then if we look at our bill materials for our deluxe, you can see that what we did was we took advantage of still, it's still going to do the standard assembly and take the time it takes for that, but then we've added an additional step for the deluxe stereo. Now, the thing to remember is that when you have this routing tied to your variant, you can make the work center operations anything you want. You're not, you didn't have to keep this in common, but that might be really common because usually a variant means that you're going to have maybe other stages that are all the same. You could have just this, say, deluxe stereo and have all of the work inside of it if in uh, you know certain instances maybe not a boat but maybe it's another variant uh, type for a different type of product where from the very beginning everything's going to take place in a different place if a certain variant is true. So um, with that said that's the configuration and let's go ahead and give it a run and uh, just see how, now that we've configured these bombs and configured the routing to how it works when we actually make the manufacturing orders. So we'll go up here, manufacturing order, and we'll create. And we'll pick a deluxe. And you'll see that, uh, did it not pick up our I'm, it might have been how I labeled that bill of material. Oh, no, there it is. I'm sorry. Yeah, there it is. It's picking up the routing. There it is right there. Oh, and okay, so that's, and then there's our deluxe stereo getting pulled in as well, like that. So now let's create one. Standard. This still says that bow rider standard and everything. And then it's standard stereo. So I find this a little confusing that it's not showing the the variant here as well. But you can see it did everything it was supposed to when it, it picked the right components. That was my biggest concern. We just want to make sure it gets the right components and that you can see the routing is right. So at this point, it hasn't created any of the work orders yet. It's confirmed. And it's, you know, it's just standard manufacturing from here, but let's go ahead and see how we can do this. Let's choose these and then come down here to action and say plan orders. This tells the system these are now planned, which basically means it's going to create the work orders for us. So that's how you can create a whole bunch of work orders fast. If we come down here to our work orders, we'll see that we have a standard and a deluxe work order. If I look at our deluxe work order, Let's see. Let me get them in the line. It's confusing me like this. Yeah, there's a standard. We can go ahead and here and standard assembly, build, start working, done. And so that's how you do it. That's how you route to different uh, routings and create diff manufacturing orders. And then so this one's the same way. It's going to have, it just has one work order. So you'll notice. This one just has the one for the standard. If I go to it, we'll see just the standard work order for this one. If we go to this one, the deluxe, one of two work orders. We've already started one of them. We can come back to it. And oh, that export is not what we need. Just start working. We can. It's going to be tracking our time. It's just standard. Uh, manufacturing from here out but that's how you do it so you can take any product variant you can attach it to your 
product this way and just when you set up your bill of materials that's where you pick the routing right here that you want to use and within your routing exactly which work centers you want that routing to use so hopefully that clears up any confusion over how to to use uh, Odoo's manufacturing and product variants and then route to different work centers and use different routings for for those work centers so thank you very much for listening um, this was a subscriber video and so um, we encourage our subscribers to uh, m make requests because then that, that's how we know how we can uh, you know solve your problems with Odoo so uh, thank you very much and uh, we look forward to hearing from you